Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports for Night News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be the next NHL quarterly report as we do it on the Arizona Coyotes, the only five-win team, uh, Arizona Coyotes, that are struggling this year to get on the win tally. But, excuse me, Tourney is instilling his system and trying to get them to play a brand of hockey that will build better as the picks come in and they build up a better form system and build up uh, stronger down there, basically, their team as they're retooling and rebuilding their team down there. But I think he's running a good, effective system. Now it's about just getting the catch in the house that that can get you over the top, basically. Um, but Clayton Keller is one of those guys that I think can when you have guys there. He's only 23, kind of rebounding again this year. You can't really look at plus-minus for a team like the Yokes because they play pretty much no defense. Um, you have Travis Boyd, who's actually playing solid, should not be on a first line, but really is having a solid NHL season. Phil Kessel is definitely going to get traded, and he's playing well enough to get traded. It's weird, though, that he has a lot more assists than he has goals. He's kind of like the Ovechkin guy, where you're like, oh my god, Phil Kessel has more assists than goals? Um, not, not that he's a bad playmaker, but, like, you just always think of Phil Kessel, shoot, 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 shoot. Um, Lawson Kraus is a fun player as well. He's somebody that also, I believe, if he gets traded, you will get something decent for because 6'4", 220, um, a player that adds some offensive skill like him at that size, they don't come around on trees. Uh, Barrett Hayden also developing solidly. Nick Schmoltz is kind of the one guy that hopefully can stay healthy and hasn't been developing since he's got paid the 5'8", 5", um, but... This is a team that hasn't wanted to, like, they, they weren't trying to win, right? The, the, the goal coming into this season, Sports Fanatic. Also, please continue to subscribe down below if you enjoy the uh, content, fellow Fanatic, to help us get to our goal of 180 by Christmas. But their goal wasn't to win. That's why they brought in Alex Golchenyuk of the world that's still trying to even prove himself in the NHL and is still getting fourth-line minutes when he's not a fourth-liner whatsoever because he can't consistently play well enough on both ends. Uh, they brought in Andrew Ladd as a veteran. Louis Erickson, who congratulations to him on his 1,000th game. Game. Anton Rochelle, who's at the end of his career. Um, so you brought in a lot of guys that are towards the tail end here. Anton Strawman, who's the same thing, 35 towards the tail end here. Um, you brought in Ghost, who was a reclamation project from Philly, who's spot on working, so you're going to get a hell of a decent, um, at least like solid bunch for him, I should say, if you decide to move on from him. So this team... It's been surprising net with Scott Wedgwood really stepping up and Karel Vajmeka coming over from Czech Republic again with goals against. It's kind of hard to overlook it, overlook that stat um, big time, meaning like to look at it big time when it's a team like the Coyotes. Um, Ryan Dezingle, of course, is also on that team, Jay Bigel. Uh, so this is a solid, um, competitive, systematic team with the way Andre Tourney runs his system, but not a good team whatsoever. Obviously, the Coyotes are an awful team this year to have them only at five wins, but that was their goal, right? Their, their, their goal to be rebuilding was not let's somehow be like NHL 22 where you try to rebuild and then all of a sudden you're one of the damn best teams in the league. I mean, you brought in Connor Timmins, who's unfortunately on IR. You have Chikrin, obviously. Uh, so you have Good people already in the prospect pool. Dylan Gunther, Matthias McKay, who I'll link at the end of this. I did a video on him um, earlier in the, well, last week. Um, you have Liam Kirk as well. I mean, you have guys in this system that are not bad players. It's just uh, Ivan Prozvatov in the minors as well hasn't got going at the NHL level. He has Kozernaz, but both are only 23. So you brought in guys that are solid from other organizations. You already have solid um, prospects. It's going to be interesting to see how this Coyotes team continues to develop. Obviously, you're going to get a great, great draft pick, excuse me, to be able to bring in to join the Jan Haniks, uh, Fashings, McCarthy's, and the others I mentioned of the world, the McKellys when he comes in. Um, as well as Victor Soderstrom um, and others of the world. You're going to have a very good draft pick, and it's going to be exciting to see who they pounce on. Dylan Gunther as well is going to be a stud. So it's going to be interesting to see who they pounce on, the Arizona Coyotes. But this has been a quick quarter report on the Arizona Coyotes. Obviously not doing good at five wins. But in terms of what they came in as a goal for for this season, I have to give them a fairly good quarterly grade um, because they wanted to lose. They wanted to – obviously no player wants to lose, but you saw the structure from the team. They wanted to tank for either Wright or anybody else, Savoy or anybody else you want to pick at the top of the draft. So – I think this is actually a wise move by Cody's keeping in more prospects. You have some good guys, like I mentioned, in the McKellies, the Hanique, 
um, the fashion, the McGregor's, the McCarthy's, uh, Connor Timmons, who you brought over, uh, Kojanaz has to develop more, Dylan Gunther, um, j you also have, uh, Shane's son, uh, you also have Josh Stone, it's going to be interesting to see how he's able to do there, which I think he's going to be a good player, not to do, it's going to be hard to be your dad, but be a good player in his own right, so have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody, hope you enjoy the content, subscribe down below, and the easy-to-use sub button up above on the easy-to-use widget to keep us going and growing, peace out, everybody, and stay safe.